I was raised in the swinging 60s. Pendulums were not quite the rage except for grandfather clocks. Wrecking balls, a toy called Newton's Cradle, and hypnotists. You're getting very sleepy. But I did manage to learn some really cool things about them that I'd like to share with you. The science behind the pendulum is quite interesting. A pendulum will always take the same amount of time to make a full cycle back and forth, no matter where the swinging starts. This is called its period. The famous Italian scientist Galileo Galilei discovered this principle while sitting in the Cathedral of Pisa. It's believed that by using his pulse as a timer, he noticed that no matter what height the chandelier began its swing, it would always take the same amount of time to complete its period back and forth. The height of the swing is called its amplitude. The period is always consistent for any pendulum of the same length. The weight of the bob has nothing to do with it. It doesn't matter if the swing starts one meter or 25 centimeters above the lowest level of the pendulum swing. Also, ideal friction-free pendulums will always return to the same height at which they were released. Real life pendulums lose a little bit of height with each swing because of friction. So they will never swing higher unless pushed by an outside force, which can sometimes prove itself to be a useful tool. Well, that's all the pendulum-tastic action we have for today. Goodbye.